So the US President Donald Trump declared that if a foreign power comes to him with damaging information about a political rival, yes, he might just listen and he might not also tell the FBI. So Joe Johns reports now on the reaction, which was immediate and angry. Here's Joe. If somebody called from a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh, I think I'd want to hear it. President Trump making a stunning admission, telling ABC News he's willing to accept damaging information from a foreign power about political rivals ahead of the 2020 election instead of immediately informing the FBI. I think maybe you do both. I think you might want to listen. I don't, there's nothing wrong with listening. The president also shutting down the idea that a foreign government like Russia or China providing material about his opponents is against the law. It's not an interference. They have information. I think I'd take it. If I thought there was something wrong, I'd go maybe to the FBI if I thought there was something wrong. But when somebody comes up with oppo research, right, they come up with oppo research. Oh, let's call the FBI. The FBI doesn't have enough agents to take care of it. Mr. Trump's words clashing with his own attorney general. If a foreign, a foreign intelligence service, foreign intelligence service, a representative of a foreign government yes. says, we have dirt on your opponent, yes. should they say, I love it, let's meet, if or should they contact the FBI? If a foreign intelligence service does, yes. And his FBI director, who issued this warning last month. If any public official or member of any campaign is contacted by any nation state uh, or anybody acting on behalf of a nation state uh, about influencing or interfering with our election, then that's something that the FBI would want to know about. Trump saying he strongly disagrees. This is somebody that said, we have information on your opponent. Oh, let me call the FBI. Give me a break. Life doesn't the work The FBI that director way. says that's what should happen. The FBI director is wrong. On Capitol Hill, Democrats outraged by President Trump's apparent readiness to cooperate with foreign adversaries. Donald Trump has made it clear that he will engage in any action, no matter how unethical or unpatriotic, uh, that he will go right up to the line of what's legal. And indeed, it looks like he crossed that line many times. 2020 presidential hopefuls igniting an even hotter firestorm toward Mr. Trump from the campaign trail. It's outrageous. And it tells me the guy just can't, doesn't understand the job and can't do it very well. Former Vice President Joe Biden tweeting, this isn't about politics, it's a threat to our national security. Senator Bernie Sanders also weighing in, saying he's not shocked. I think we have a president who neither understands the Constitution of the United States uh, or respects the Constitution. That was Joe Johns reporting there. So let's go to CNN national security analyst, Samantha Vinograd. Samantha, great to have you on the show because I really, really want to get your take on this. Um, just what we heard the US president saying there, is he just committing a crime uh, just by saying that he'll take foreign dirt, true or not, from an adversary? Well, it, it really depends, Robin, and this was addressed in the Mueller report. Taking foreign mm -hmm. campaign contributions is illegal. The Mueller report did not issue indictments based upon the fact that they did not think that they could sustain, uh, excuse me, obtain or sustain a criminal conviction. That's with respect to a uh, foreign contribution to a campaign. With respect to the counterintelligence angle of this, it depends. It depends what, where and when uh, that, that information comes from and whether the person knows that it's being being used to uh, undermine the national security of the United States. President Trump checks that box. As the president of the United States, he has all of the open source information that's in the media and elsewhere right now, as well as the most classified briefings in the country. He knows better than anyone what our advers adversaries are doing to undermine us and why they're doing it. They're not helping him. They're not offering opposition research because he's coincidentally popular with them. The uh, Office of the Director of National Intelligence back in January 2017 issue, issued a report saying that Russia interfered in our election as part of their longstanding agenda to undermine the U.S.-led liberal democratic order. Our enemies are interfering and potentially offering information because it helps their security interests, not ours. Um, I think we're just getting some information that Lindsey Graham, who, who certainly speaks for the president often, has just said that uh, these comments were a mistake. Even if the president pulls back from them or the White House tries to uh, sort of spin these comments, 
either way, f foreign adversaries or even just any old spy agency is going to see this as a green light. And that certainly creates, or does it, an uneven playing field ahead of this election. It certainly does. You know, Trump asked back during the 2016, 2016 campaign, Russia, are you listening? Russia was definitely listening to what he said last night, as well as every foreign intelligence service. What they heard is the president of the United States really condoning attacks on his adversaries, perhaps supporting them and saying that he would receive that stolen information. So at this point, what they have to do is attack any of the Democratic candidates. It's a very wide field. Offer up information. He's saying that he may use it. He is positioning himself as a foreign laundromat for stolen information. And so I don't think even if there's a walk back, I doubt there will be. We know he's not very good at that. The foreign intelligence services literally probably started working almost immediately when he made those comments. Um, and the point is also this might not be true. If there is dirt, um, as we saw, misinformation, fake news, even these deep fake videos can all play into that. It doesn't necessarily mean this is genuine intelligence either, if, if right, it comes I mean, to Hillary that. Hillary Clinton, and this is public information, was attacked in two ways, as were uh, Democratic servers, through um, cyber attacks and information warfare. So as you point out, there are different ways that Russia attacked us in the 2016 election cycle. But guess what? It's been three years. They've had three years to up their game, as have other foreign adversaries who want to interfere. But at this point, Robin, in a lot of ways, their job is easier. Donald Trump is an open book when it comes to how he feels about his adversaries and how he chooses to engage in information warfare. The ability to manipulate what he says and the misinformation that he says is much easier at this point. I don't think that Russia has to try as hard during this election cycle.